Bionic Arm Tutorial by fantasy author David J. Guyton. This is all 20 gauge steel. It can easily be converted to Winter Soldier Arm or Auto Mail. The uh, assembly is a little bit more uh, involved in this one, but it's uh, uh, all still very straightforward and doable. Had a lot of fun building it, and I hope you will too. So grab your hammers, let's get started. Get your template to build this yourself by clicking under the video or in the video or going directly to armortemplates.com where all of my templates are available. Also, I've got a new free app available in the Google Play Store for Armor Templates and this walks you through every tutorial I've got. I also get a list of uh, tools and materials and links, Amazon links to buy them from Amazon. So very handy to have. Cut your parts out using your preferred method. We're going to leave these parts uncut though, you can see the little score marks there. We'll start by uh, dishing the shoulder. Um, there is, uh, I guess, a moderate amount of dishing in this one. Um, the shoulder being one piece, the tricep being another, and um, the bicep, and there's two, two parts on the, the forearm that are also going to be dished, but only the, uh, the shoulder is dished, uh, I would say, to somewhat extreme. See, I'm working the, the rounded side of the, the ball peen hammer gives me a much more uh, dramatic curve. Once you get it pretty close, we're going to start planishing and get these ugly bumps out. Just use a flat hammer and a flat surface, mostly flat surface. This is a flap disc. I'm going to grind away a little bit of this uh, these imperfections just because it's uh, I don't want to planish for a hundred years. Using some sandpaper, we're going to just roughen up the surface and make it all equally uneven, if you will. This is one of the uh, forearm parts. This does not get dished anywhere near as extreme as the shoulder. I'm rounding all the edges too. Makes it look a lot more like a real muscle, which is sort of the effect we're going for here. working on the, the edges again. Now you can see I've got a little mark scored here. This is for the, uh, the, the van brace section, um, or the part that goes around your forearm. We're going to bend it over um, and start a nice flat line there, and then just hammer it over. And I see I'm not hammering it all the way down, just most of the way. And that gives you a nice straight edge um, and, and, a, and a, a rounded uh, makes the metal look like it's more thick there too. It takes a little bit of bending and working to get perfect. You're going to always be checking your other parts too to see if they're fitting because since all these parts are dished and, and curved, um, they change shape and you need to make sure that all of your parts in the end will go together. Here I'm cutting out, now that these parts are, are finally shaped, I'm cutting out the, the parts, uh, the, the holes for the mesh. It's just perforated aluminum mesh I had in the garage and we're just going to glue it in with 5 minute epoxy simple as that now I just got some store bought hinges and some roofing nails and we're going to rivet these parts together cut the nails off and hammer them down into a rivet and there you go again uh, you can see here I have to trim some parts because it expanded a bit so we'll uh, trim those parts and get them to fit together. You do want to have a little bit of a gap, though, between all the parts um, so that your, your arm can move inside of this thing. You're going to have to do a lot of uh, twisting and shaping to get it to work. Here I've got the edges filed off some washers. They'll, you'll see those later on. Little tiny little uh, plastic buckles you can get for a few bucks at Amazon. Um, that's what holds this thing together. As you can see, this is the bicep part here. Here I've got some uh, fine line tape I'm going to be painting on this number six. Why number six, you ask? Because this is, and I guess sort of technically, the sixth gauntlet that I've designed, so number six. It's 
scuff it up, make it look all ugly and beat up. I love it. Here's your van brace all together and painted with acrylic paint this time, not oil. Now I'm using a power punch to pop some holes. Here's some leather. We're going to be riveting this stuff too. And uh, you can see I'm rolling it to, to kind of get a basic idea of how much leather um, I'm going to be needing for this. And then carefully marking a few of the holes. Not all of them, just a few. And then we're going to put some nails through and start riveting sort of one side to the other. So you want to uh, just do those holes one at a time after that and line your parts up. Again, one at a time, pop the holes. And you can see I got a bit of an overlap here too. This is so that that uh, hole is completely covered and you don't see any of your arm inside of it. Now I'm marking where the where the hinge point is in my in my on my elbow so I know where to pop the hole in this thing. As you can see I got a lot of leather left over. We're going to take these two rivet holes out and rivet the leather inside of it as well. Now it's a sort of a cohesive unit. This is a, a, a plain nail that I've used as a rivet here, but I'm going to glue this piece on to make it look more, more substantial. These are lock nuts, and I'm going to be cutting them off because I can't have that huge thing under there. I just need something very small. This is the hole to rivet the shoulder on with some bolts I found for accent pieces. And this is the corresponding hole to connect the shoulder piece to the arm and we'll cut these bolts off shorter to mount the strapping to the shoulder. Here's the glove we're using. This is a unlined police glove. This is the finger jig you've seen a million times already. This is a one inch pipe cut in half and embedded in wood. And then we're just gonna hit this with a hammer a couple of times until it makes it nice and round. You can see the ends are left long on purpose though. This is because everybody's different size. So you also need to trim these a bit on the top and make sure they line up with your knuckles right here. Otherwise you can't open your hand. And you can trim away a little bit of stuff as needed to make it uh, more comfortable to move. As you can see I had to trim a little bit off the top of a couple of these fingertips. Here's uh, the bottom part of the fingertip that I'm rounding. And then we're going to put it in the jig. Um, a lot like my demon hand uh, gauntlet tutorial, and we're not going to round that part sticking out, just just the top of it. And then we're going to bend that part under, just like this, and then you can sort of bend it by hand after that. And as you can see, it, it forms a, a fingertip, which is pretty cool. This is a dapping block. Um, I'm sure there's other ways you could probably do this without one, but it's pretty easy and I had it available, so I just did it. These are for the, the uh, knuckle pieces, just simple little round pieces that I turn into sort of a hemisphere and glue them onto the knuckles. This is the uh, knuckle, I'm sorry, the uh, thumb knuckle. And uh, these are the hand parts which we are going to glue to the top of the glove. And you got to make sure that they kind of line up pretty close. And then we're going to do the gluing. Not a very fun part, but necessary part. You could probably rivet this stuff too, but it would just take so much time. Um, I don't have time for that. i got to make tutorials. So here we got the parts glued on. And then I've got like uh, some wire added, a little bit of that corrugated wiring cover stuff. Um, just to finish it all up. And there you go. Um, had so much fun building this, guys. I, I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys like uh, building it. I'm, I'm really excited to see what you guys can do with it, and what kind of modifications you can make. So come to the Facebook page and show me. Put your pictures up. I love seeing that stuff. Love it. Find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash armor templates. Uh, give the page a like, um, talk to other armorers, and uh, communicate with me. Visit my website, armortemplates.com, where all of my templates are available, like this one, and the song you're hearing in the background as well. So if you like the song, you can pick it up there. It's called Calm Amid the Raging Waters. Check out all my other tutorials by clicking right here. Anyway, I hope you guys had fun. I know I did. I'll see you next time.